I'm going to doing tier four in my hero card analysis. We have Pippin. He's a six threat spirit hero. Two, one, one, two, Hobbit. If each hero you control has the Hobbit trait, Pippin gains response. After an enemy engages you, raise your threat by three to return it to the staging area. Until the end of the round, that enemy cannot engage you. But first, you have to have all Hobbit heroes. And Hobbit heroes usually get their benefits when you have low threat. So raising your threat is not going to help out your Hobbit deck. Other benefits. And if you're playing multiplayer, the enemy that returns is going to engage another player because it only reads that enemy not, does not engage you. So all in all, the hero is pretty much useless for its abilities. And the only way you'd use them in your deck is if you were desperate and needed two willpower. Then we got Fatty, Bulger, a seven threat spirit hero, one, one, two, three, Hobbit, action, exhaust Fatty, Bulger to choose an enemy in the staging area and raise your threat by that enemy's threat until the end of the phase. That enemy does not contribute its threat. Limit once per round. So you could quest with them for one. Or leave him ready for a chance of defending yourself for two or attacking for one. And if you Get an enemy in the staging area. You will be able to have the ability to reduce its threat and raise your threat. So the only way that I see this card having a benefit for its ability is He quests for one, but his ability makes it so you can make the threat in the staging area more than one if the enemy has more than one threat. So it could be the difference between questing successfully and unsuccessfully. And there are cards that you get bonuses if you quest successfully and penalized if you quest unsuccessfully. So that's the only situation that I see this card useful. And even with that, there's still other spirit heroes that have less threat or better abilities so all in all he's useless
Then we have Dory. He's a 10 threat tactics hero. 1, 2, 2, 5, dwarf, sentinel, response. After another hero is declared as a defender, exhaust Dory to add his defense to the defending hero's defense for this attack. So it's like when you're playing, you're using two defenders to defend one attack. So why take away two heroes for one attack, leaving you with only one other hero to deal with things, when you could just try to beef up one defender and have a another hero be able to attack or quest. So the only way I see this hero useful is if he doesn't use his ability, just he's two defense and sentinel, or when an attacking enemy says it can only be blocked by one character. Because his response is targeting the other character and just adding its defense. But other than that, you can find a lot better heroes for, that are in tactics for 10 threat. And then the last hero is Bomber. He's an 8 threat lore hero. 0, 1, 2, 5, dwarf. While counting the number of dwarf characters you control, Bomber counts as 2. And no other abilities. So you're using up a hero spot only to get your characters boofed, beefed up more that benefit when you have more dwarf characters on the table. Like Soren, that when you have five dwarf characters, he gets an extra resource. Or, or you get to draw an extra card. So it just makes you be able to trigger that ability quicker. But just get a better hero like putting Ori in and you can get out dwarf characters quicker because you'll have more card draw for the rest of the game. So it's only real usefulness is his five hit points and his two defense. But other than that, you can get a lot better lore allies, or lore heroes for eight threat. Thanks for watching and have a great day.